Hey, it's Jess back with another Misfit Makers Besties tutorial and today we're making this adorable charm rhinestone tumbler that I made last year. We're going to recreate it. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We upload every Wednesday and Friday. Also check out our free Facebook community Misfit Makers and if you want to take your business to the next level check out our mentorship group. Okay, so today I'm going to start with a 22 ounce cafe from the Tipsy Magnolia and I'm going in with hashtag MMBX pop of color from CCDIY. I want to do a nice thin coat of paint because this is a chalk paint and if you put your paint on too thick it can crack on you. So nice thin coat of flat head paintbrush will be your best friend on doing thin coats like this. Once your paint is completely dry, then we are ready to add our adhesive. Today I will be using Mod Podge as my adhesive. Same thing with Mod Podge guys, you want a nice thin coat. The trick with Mod Podge is I like to put a lot on my tumbler and then go around my tumbler and smooth it out. Mod Podge dries really fast, so just make sure you don't have a heater on in front of you that's going to dry it even faster than it already does. After we get a nice thin good coat of Mod Podge on our tumbler, the color that we'll be using today is Wednesdays from Peachy Olive. I will link all of my supplies down below along with some discount codes, so check it out. Wednesdays is my gorgeous go-to pink always from Peachy Olive. I use this, use this color all the time. After we get good coverage on our tumbler, I'm going to let this dry for at least a half hour. I want to make sure that Mod Podge is completely dry. I then will seal it with some clear spray sealer since we're only glittering, it's only one color. I will just use some clear sealer outside. After that clear sealer is dry about 15 minutes or so, then it is time to epoxy. I'm using Fast Set from CCDIY and I did one nice thick coat of Fast Set. Fast Set only takes about two hours to dry. After that was completely dry, I want to make sure my tumbler is completely smooth since the charms will be the last step. So if your tumbler is not completely smooth, you need to go in for that second coat. After my facet was dry, I then did a coat of medium viscosity, also from CCDIY, for my final coat. Once that was completely dry, that was my final coat. We are ready to rhinestone. So here I have a variety of rhinestones. I wish I could tell you where they are all from. I will tell you my go-to rhinestone supplier now is Crystal Ninja. So I will link her down below. But I believe my rhinestones are from Fab Cab Cases. Some are from Glitter Craze. Some, my charms are from Amazon, my pearls are from Amazon. I kind of have a whole Mod Podge of places here. I actually made this tumbler last year before TumblrCon and Rula saw it and was like, oh my gosh, girl, that's gorgeous. Please make me one. And I told her, no problem, but it will probably be a year. And I stuck to my promise. A year later, uh, about a year and a month or two later, <laughs> I am finally finishing up her tumbler. So, so we're going to I'm just doing the scattered method as you see here and I'm just placing I try to even my big charms out the best I can. I believe they're all about an inch apart from each other and then I just fill it in with all of my rhinestones. I love the scattered method because there's really no thinking with this. In my rhinestone mix, I have all different sizes sizes of rhinestones from 5 all the way up to, I believe, 16. So you definitely want a different variety of sizes because you're going to need little tiny rhinestones to fill in those little tiny spaces. A scattered method is my, is my best friend if I'm rhinestoning something because if I have to be like tedious and follow a pattern, uh, more than likely I'm going to mess it up. <laughs> so this probably took me about, I don't know, if I just worked nonstop on it, it probably took me 
maybe two or three days to complete. I can only do about a three by three section before my neck starts hurting. So I have to like let that little section dry and then come back to it later. But you guys can see this is just something fun. This is something a kid could do. So if you have kids that want to help you want to help out mom this is definitely a project for them i just got done epoxying a cup just like this pink as well for my daughter and she's gonna make one for herself so again i'll make sure i link all of my supplies down below including these really cute charms they actually come in all different colors too so i ordered her some purple ones and some pink ones so she would have a variety after you get all of your charms on your cup, just set your cup aside for 24 hours to give that glue a chance to completely dry. Once it's completely dry, you will then want to wash and scrub your tumbler really good. I will link a really good nail brush down below. But when you're applying those rhinestones, glue will get on your rhinestones and you just want to make sure you scrub it really, really good before giving it to a customer. As you can see, I also went ahead and rhinestoned my, my dome lid. And this is my tumbler I did last year to the right. So I love that they're a little different. Again, you can do this in any color variety that you'd like, and I think they turn out super cute. I hope this tutorial helped, and if it did, make sure you leave your comment down below. Voila! <laughs>